Okay guys, we are incredibly excited because of our new photo album entitled Liquor System is ready and will be published soon. Inspired by my work with IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, and UNEP, United Nations Environment Programme, this album is entirely devoted to ecosystems, those incredibly important and poorly understood natural systems that give us life. Ecosystems are normally understood in terms of the services they provide to humanity, an anthropocentric concept um, which becomes more critical as humans are starting to be a geological force changing the face of the planet Earth, first pointed out by Vernatsky. Ecosystems give us a wide range of economic, ecological and social services. These include water we drink, food we eat, fibers, our clothes, houses, or boats are made of, pharmaceuticals. At the same time, there is a lot of ecological processes crucial for life on Earth uh, that are taking place in ecosystems. Pollinators are working to make sure fruits appear on the trees after the flowers. Microorganisms are working days and nights to replenish our soils. Ecosystems purify water and process waste. Ecosystems regulate climatic processes on the planet, purifying air in our cities and doing all sorts of other important things. At the same time, ecosystems inspire the artists, offer sites that are considered sacred by many people, like Machu Puhari Mountain, in Nepal, where the locals believe God Shiva lives. Ecosystems give us opportunity to uh, recreate and also offer educational values. Unfortunately, many think that the best way to assess ecosystems is in money. But as I showed in my work for the International Union for Conservation of Nature, it is wrong for ecological, economic, mathematical and ethical reasons. One simply cannot add the birds to the bees, but the meticians would understand that the value is a non-linear function, if a function at all. To illustrate the complexity, diversity and nature's contribution to humanity, this book has been conceived. We are very fortunate to have worked with two talented graphic designers, Rebecca Barlow and Charlotte Hamm, from the University of Reading MA Book Design Programme, and Dr. Joachim Spangenberg from Seri Deutschland, who kindly contributed um, the introductory articles for each chapter. We are also most grateful to the leading environmentalists who offered their support to the book uh, making the endorsements that read. Our life depends on our ability to protect the home which so generously hosts us. We should all contribute to, the be to our best. Sharing the captured moments of intrinsic beauty is certainly one of the most effective ways to raise awareness. This endorsement comes from Janis Potocznik, former European Commission for the Environment, and currently co-chair of the International Resources Panel, UN Environment. Visualizing ecosystems is perhaps the most effective way of popularizing this important concept, says Professor Ernst Ulrich von Weizsäcker, co-president of the Club of Rome. The great challenge of our time is to build and nurture human communities that honor, respect and cooperate with nature's inherent ability to sustain life. To do so, it is critical to understand how ecosystems work, not only intellectually, but also emotionally and spiritually. Artists have an essential role to play for, to foster such deep, multidimensional understanding, and Stanislav Schmelev's magnificent book succeeds admirably in this task. It comes from Fr Professor Fritjof Capra, the author of best-selling books The Tower of Physics, The Web of Life, His and Connections, Learning from Leonardo, and co-author of The Systems Use of Life. Ecosystems by Stanislav Shmenev takes us through a journey of ecosystem services, captured by a lens of a remarkable artist who is also an expert. The colorful details bring to life the text describing the links between sustainability and the ecology surrounding us. As a Colombian, I enjoy the clear message from wilderness to the scent of a cup of coffee generously provided by nature. Professor Juan Amanda Sanchez, Biological Sciences, Universidad de los Andes, Bogota, Colombia. 
Stanislav Shmelev displays consummate skills in combining both art and science to produce his exquisite and captivating photo album, describing the essence of sustainability. This comes from Professor Mohan Monasinghe, the Vice Chair of the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change, IPCC Assessment Review No. 4, joint recipient of the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize. It is essential for us to appreciate not only the beauty of nature, but it's also its critical life support services to our planet and to all of its inhabitants. This book inspires us to a deeper understanding of our important responsibilities to protect, restore and nurture ecosystems so that they can continue to provide us with the comforts we cannot take for granted. Come from Julia Martin Lefebvre, former Director General, International Union for Conservation of Nature and currently Edward P. Bass, Distinguished Visiting Environmental Scholar, at Yale Institute for Biospheric Studies, Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies. A wonderful and colourful journey through our planet's varied ecosystems and the multiple services they provide us with on a daily basis and a great reminder of a key need of environmental stewardship in today's world comes from Bernard Coombs, Environmental Officer, UNESCO Education for Sustainable Development. This stunning array of images well illustrates nature's aesthetic value and its intrinsic value too comes from Professor Robin Atfield, a philosopher from Cardiff University. In this book, Stanislav Shmelev, an ecological economist and an artist, goes far beyond the environmental social scientists and even the environmental humanities by appealing through photography to the incommensurable values that humans hold towards the environment. comes from Professor Juan Martinez Allier from Autonomous University of Barcelona, who was also a past president of the International Society for Ecological Economics. This splendid collection exhibits an amazing rainbow of colours in scenes from around the globe expressing the photographer's profound concern for the state of the earth while also celebrating the intense and astonishing exuberance of human and biological diversity in some of the world's most beautiful ecosystems. Shmedov's inspired structure leads us along a carefully selected series of contexts and themes showing clearly the importance of maintaining the stability and productivity of natural processes through global and local commitment for planetary survival in the face of global change. Comes from Professor Peter May, past president of the International Society for Ecological Economics, Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. This is an outstanding collection of photographs. Stanislav's wonderful and imaginative book and census photographs show us the economy is entirely a subsidiary of the environment. Stanislav has created a miracle. Read this book, look at these photographs, and you'll be invited to celebrate our deep connection with the natural world. It comes from Satish Kumar, the editor emeritus of Resurgence and Ecologist magazine and founder of Schumacher College. To pre-order this album, uh, you are invited to follow the link on the right of this video uh, on our Indiegogo campaign. There are several options available uh, from a single copy of a signed album to a huge museum quality print on aluminium under acrylic glass uh, measured 180 centimeters by 120 centimeters accompanied by a, an album um, of, um, of photography and uh, the website stanislav.photography uh, is going to lead you to important social media links on Twitter and Instagram where you could follow the artist and the updates. And of course, don't miss an opportunity to visit the other art fair in Bristol between the 26th and the 29th of July this year where Stanislav is going to be presenting his work.